afternoon, you gorgeous, crafty people. How are you today? Uh, I hope you enjoyed Wake Up Call. It was super busy. Uh, you've absolutely loved the new Academy of Colour, which was, which is what this launch party is, or launch day. I'm saying launch party, it's launch day. Uh, it's officially launching now, but I have to tell you a stock update three quarters of the stock has gone so if you do want it and then you want to sit back so what i would advise put it in your basket check it out and then just sit back and watch our very special guest who i will introduce in a moment uh, just let her do her magic which is amazing uh, now if you want to be social with us we are completely social uh, so please come in ask your questions uh, let us know also i would love to know uh, how many of the academy of you've got this is our fourth box uh, which is just incredible and you are loving uh, but let us know what ones you've got whereabouts you started whether you've got to catch up a bit or whether you just want to take this one box as a one-off box and you will get that education with this box as well um, now before I start anything I have to introduce this lovely lady she's a very special friend of mine uh, I feel very privileged when she's in the building and I for one can't wait to see what she she does with this Academy of Colour. Leanne! <laughs> Hello darling, how are you? I'm very well. Oh my word, whenever I know that I'm going to be working with Debbie, I get so incredibly excited because <laughs> we just don't see each other enough. And I, I think back to those first days of first ever television appearances where it was me and you together oh, in a flat in Peterborough with some Prosecco flavoured crisps. Yes, yes. It was very happy, <laughs> happy <laughs> memories I have to say. Oh my goodness, um, Leanne, I forgot about the crisps. The Prosecco <laughs> crisps, they were amazing. We're like, oh my god, these are lovely. Uh, we got through a couple of packets let's just say um of the crisps only the prosecco we saved till we got home on an evening i'm really really looking forward to being here i am because academy of color has been a fantastic runaway success has it not you've absolutely loved it the facebook group is phenomenal we've got so many followers so many of you say that it has and it's a bold statement but changed your life in terms of confidence when you're colouring and I think if any programme, craft programme can do that for you it's phenomenal and of course this is the more, more recent launch that we've got which is our watercolour pencils and I'm looking forward to showing you around it Debbie. Ah oh, me too I can't wait. Uh, so let's start with exactly what you are getting throughout this event now remember we're in our sweet surprise event it's amazing each day we're putting in deals on the website Website, so you'll get all those additional uh, deals every single day so keep a look in and see uh, what you want cherry pick get your little extras uh, but first of all I have to tell you about free gifts uh, we always love a free gift don't we uh, if you spend 20 pounds or 20 dollars we're putting in this card making kit this is our scratch and reveal kit you're getting 57 stickers in here including all the stamps which is amazing you don't have to do anything apart from spend that 20 pounds or 20 dollars that will be put in into your basket or into your parcel when you get it home now if you spend a hundred pounds or a hundred dollars we will also give you so you'll get both of these the most amazing um, butterfly die from Sarah's vintage butterfly if I turn that around you can see it's a three-piece die that and it's layerable it will layer on top of each other it's absolutely incredible you'll get both of those if you spend a hundred pounds or more today or a hundred dollars which is incredible now the other incredible thing I have to say is the Academy of Colour is brand new today. It's only been launched today and it's got 30% off. I don't know how that's happened, uh, but I love it and the saving is going on to you. Uh, but also, we've got some extra little bonuses for you, but I'm going to let our Leanne tell you all about them. Well, if you're stateside, thank you, Debbie. If you're stateside, um, I've done a little bit of, I'm going to call it negotiation. Uh, some <laughs> might call it putting your foot down with a firm hand, others might call it demanding. Uh, but whatever it is, I've done it on your behalf because normally your minimum basket spend is $125 for you to be able to access free shipping of that new super speedy service that we've got for you. Uh, for this event, your sweet treat event, up until midnight tomorrow night, you're going to be able to have a reduced minimum basket spend of $75. So rather than having to spend the 
125 all you need to do is spend 75 and you're going to be able to access that minimum spend to get your free shipping which i think is fantastic especially we need a little treat at the beginning of the year debbie when we're just getting over christmas and it's not quite spring and we're all feeling a little bit flat it's nice to have something just to give us that little boost that little perk that's something where we can treat ourselves to something we've really wanted and not have the shipping basket be the um, be the resistor to that so $75 is your minimum spend up till midnight tomorrow night is a gift from me to you oh I absolutely love that and you know we've got a big cartload coming tonight uh, so you're going to want to be spending that and probably more on all those goodies so make sure you fill up your baskets to get that free shipping incredible uh, so lots of people in today uh, we've got oh my goodness such a long list and we do want to get over to Leanne but I'll read out a few names um, Sarah is saying afternoon uh, we've got Diana in we've got Beth in Nancy Tammy uh, Elaine Kerry so many people um, you're all letting me know what you've got so Emma's saying she's got all the boxes Carol's saying hi everyone I've got all of the um, uh, Academy of Colour and I've just ordered this one this morning uh, I have all the pen boxes and I've ordered mine I'm waiting for the last box to come out so Sarah um, Thea is saying I did order the Academy of Colour and the big mystery box from Leanne yes Leanne's big mystery box it's amazing um, and a tease uh, on a test on YouTube is saying good morning from snowy Wisconsin I have them all and I've ordered this one today I've also ordered them all for my daughter's birthday late in the spring Leanne how amazing is that to order all those boxes for your daughter for their birthday I love that idea in fact it's really given me an idea to get some to put away from my granddaughter because my little Ruby absolutely loves colouring uh, but without further ado we're going to get over to our land and see exactly what she's got in store for us with this Academy of Colour I'm really looking forward to showing you I have to say I think that's a fantastic idea buying them for your daughter what a lovely gift and I know some people in the Academy of Colour Facebook group have said exactly that and one of our viewers said they'd bought a box for their mother who was in New York and she was following along with the tutorials now and having a lovely mindful time and it was just getting her a little bit reinvigorated using her mind and you're using your mind staves off not making medical claims but they say that creativity staves off all of that stuff that happens when we get a little bit older in life so yes fantastic and i think if you're going to get one for your granddaughter debbie get the pencils yes absolutely absolutely this is the one to get now you get the fabulous box that you always get the experience with our boxes on academy of color are absolutely fantastic it's a beautiful quality box and each one of them has that beautiful very satisfying magnetic closure i could just stand and do that for 10 minutes <laughs> i love a magnetic closure me too and of course it tells you your coloring journey continues the exciting thing is next time the message on the box changes oh it's going to be a sad message because we're coming though. to the end yes. aren't we so the message on the box is different for the next one but you've got that to look forward to now open the box and what you will find you've got inside are your pencils you've got a sharpener and then you've got two water valve brushes now i will just mention these pencils come in a separate box um, i'm just looking to see if i can see mine here i can't we've had the box have you oh debbie's got it thank you debbie thank you very much so these pencils will come in this box and this box is buried in your brown outer packet to keep them safe you're going to take the pencils out of here and pop them into the spaces that we've provided for you so that you've got your beautiful tray fully complete now these are our brand new aqua duo pencils so they're a watercolor pencil duo because you've got two perfectly complementary colors in each of these pencils we've done that so you can get that uh, mixing of a new color or tone or you can do the light and the shade in a tone and giving you that duo effect where the colors will work together in one pencil of course with watercolor pencil you're going to see they'll all play together nicely pencil sharpener is incredibly important you need to be able to sharpen your pencils effectively and not break the lead all the way down i'll explain that to you as we get to that point and then your two valve brushes have two different sizes of nib so can i get that out and show you there we are so you've got a, a fine nib and a fine brush I should say and a thicker brush so for being able to do your detail and you just fill them with water they're a valve brush so that's all on your first layer 
On your second layer underneath, you get what you would always expect with Academy of Colour. You get your panel to store your fabulous clear stamps on and you get four really big bold statement florals and a butter three but florals and a butterfly to work with in this collection they're a really great size we give you sentiments so that you can finish them off into finished projects if you want to and you also get a stash of watercolor card because we're not using alcohol markers in this box you don't need alcohol cards so you've just got your watercolor card in there that all nestles nicely underneath that tray and that's everything you're getting now if you haven't joined in with academy of color yet if you're you know at home and you're still on the academy of color fence then this would be a great box for you to start with because it completely stands alone you do not need to have purchased any of the previous academy of color boxes to be able to make this work for you so it might be a good time for you to just try and see if you like the journey go and watch some of the education and by the way this little card on the top of your box this gives you access to that education um, so if you turn it round, the website and the QR code to access that is on the back I say always stick that back on the roof of your box and then you always know where to go back to your education and get it later you're not going to lose that definitely don't throw it away um, so I think it's a great box to start with if you haven't yet if you've been watching and thinking oh, I don't know if it's for me I'm not sure if I'm going to enjoy it then this would be a brilliant box for you to dip in now see if you do and then go back and get some of the other boxes if you want to um, I think it would be a fabulous starting point don't you Debbie oh absolutely uh, and it's what I do love about this one and it's what I really do think is why it has been so busy today because it is that standalone box if you've not uh, dabbled in watercolor pencils before I think Leanne to have that jewel ended uh, pencil I've never seen jewel ended watercolor pencils no. um, I mean there could be some on the market but I've personally not seen them uh, so just a quick recap on these this is everything that you're getting in the box like Leanne has just said how much did you say is gone Johnny over three quarters of the stock has gone amazing only 33.99 or 45 $44.95 but look at that platinum saving price uh, I love the stamps in this one I think they're beautiful do you know what I love about them as well Leanne even though you've got these ones for that watercolor in every stamp that we've got in the system going back can be used in all these techniques oh, absolutely they? yes they can you can use these pencils if you've purchased previous Academy of Colour boxes every single one of the images can be coloured with these pencils I mean look at that look at those being able to create just the most amazing designs on there uh, what you got to show us Beth yeah. so as with every Academy of Colour we also bring the education and the step-by-steps don't we so what I've got here to show you is you've got your step-by-step -step, um, colouring instructions which will be uploaded to the website um, and the Facebook group for you and it's broken down in the steps that you've come to know and love the colors are listed underneath and the instruction of what you need to do to achieve these different results are all included for you on that Facebook page and website so we give you the instruction we hold your hand to help you be be able to achieve those things that's colouring the images and then I've got a whole host of background image stuff to show you as well um, I think we should probably just dive straight in oh, Debbie oh let's do it absolutely now, um, what I've noticed is one of the pencils in here needs a little bit of a sharpen so let's do that to start with and I can explain to you how you sharpen a pencil because I want to use this colour and uh, it's been put away with no nib so let's oh so I'm going to take this out here's a top tip for you to get your pencil sharpener out take your tray out push oh you can't see take your tray out <laughs> there we are take your tray out finger underneath push up from the bottom remove your sharpener otherwise you're going to be doing this with your nails for a long time and getting very frustrated like me and it goes the same for these water brushes just give them a little push from underneath and they'll come out the pencils you can get a hold of and they'll come out pretty easily so we're going to sharpen this one to start with them same pretty easily we like to give them get them a good hold of there like live tv leanne i know it's always <laughs> the way isn't it now you can see this pencil needs a bit of a sharpen it hasn't got much of an end to it what you're going to do is use your pencil sharpener but you're going to turn the sharpener not the pencil so when you're sharpening your pencil stays still your sharpener turns and the reason you do that is because the lead and the wood 
if you force it round by winding the pencil like this, you turn the wood and the lead at two different speeds and that's what causes your lead to break all the way up a pencil. So if it isn't sharpened correctly, that's what you will experience. Very important that when you're sharpening, the pencil goes in, you turn this, the sharpener end, and not the, um, not the pencil end. Great tip. Okay, there we go. And how nice is it having a branded uh, pencil sharpener? Oh, absolutely. And it'll work <laughs> with all of our other pencils. So if you've collected, if you've collected, so see this pencil hasn't, look what's happened. And I'm just going to show you because I think it's important. This pencil hasn't been, um, pretend, hasn't been looked after in terms of how it's been sharpened. So see how it's snapped. And that will happen to you if you're not careful. So the first time you don't sharpen it properly, and you break the lead, that's what will happen. So just make sure that you turn the sharpener, not the pencil, and that's the lovely result that you'll get. Okay, move that to one side. Now then, keep these, because we're going to look, we're going to talk about how to use them in a future demonstration later on. Don't throw those away. Oh, um, I'm intrigued. There was a lady watching last night. I've forgotten her name. I'm sorry, I wish I could remember. Um, and she said this, the thing that she learned the most out of the out of the whole two hour session we did was uh, what to do with the pencil sharpener. <laughs> so she learned nothing else in the whole class. The fact that she knew now what to do with her pencil sharpenings, it was what she was looking forward to the I most. I love that. <laughs> so I've got one of the butterflies stamped out and I've stamped it with our finesse waterproof ink, which you can see there. So stamped it with that. And that means the black line won't run. These will be on our website. If you haven't got finesse waterproof, it stays on, we'll do the same. They're in stock. Go to the website and get that, definitely. Now, what we're going to do is choose the colours of pencil that we've outlined on the um, chart here to colour this butterfly. So we're just going direct to the butterfly to colour it. So it needs red berry and petunia, which are those two, elderberry and iris. Okay, so someone's put these in here, so I can't see. But let's get all the pencils out, guys. So here's another top tip. See, whoever's put these pencils in this one, has done it so it's all nicely spectrum noir aqua facing up so it looks all posh and gorgeous however you can't see the blooming color <laughs> so i would put them away facing doesn't matter that it's got spectrum noir on there we all know it's a spectrum noir pencil turn it round and keep your pencil stored inside so that you can see your colors and it's just going to make it so much easier for you when you're using them to be able to see the one that you need to pick up so I'll just take a minute, Debbie, if you want to do some comments to turn these around. Yeah, absolutely. So lots of people coming in, lots of love for the Academy of Colour. Um, Beth is saying that uh, she loves the dual ideas as well, a duo idea as well. Yeah, I think that is uh, a game changer. Um, uh, Kathy Myers has said it's the best investment that she's ever made and the best teacher comes with it. That's such a lovely thing to say and I think we'll all agree with that, absolutely. Um, we've got lots of hellos. Uh, Alicia Sen, I gave mine to my 10 year old granddaughter and she absolutely loved it. She loves to draw and this will help her in advance with her art. Uh, yeah, that's amazing. They're our next generation, aren't, aren't they, our youngsters? Um, uh, Stephanie's in saying hello to all her crafty friends. Evelyn's in from a very cold and snowy Colorado. Uh, Emma is saying that she has ordered this one today. Uh, Janice is saying good morning from a very rainy West Virginia. Uh, we've also got Robbie in. He said he's got the Academy of Colour Aqua Pencil Kit. Uh, Leanne could sell me a bikini in the North Pole blizzard. <laughs> <laughs> That's very Stick. funny. That uh, is. And he says, love me some Leanne. Yeah, oh. absolutely. That's so nice. Uh, Susan saying, hi, Leanne and Debbie. I'm a late comer to the Academy of Colour. I have just finished the main box and I'm about to start portraits. I am really enjoying the programme and learning new skills at 67. I absolutely love that. And actually, uh, Leanne, it just goes to show, it doesn't matter what age you are, to you can learn this new skill, can't you? You absolutely can. It's in the, do you know what? This is a very forgiving um, technique. It's a very forgiving craft watercolour. Pencils, I think, is the most forgiving and the most easy. If you are starting a journey, this would be the very best place to start. If you've never coloured before, it would be great for that. And I think it's the thing that gives you instant results very quickly and easily. You don't really have to worry about having any skill at all. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So I've taken the butterfly and I've taken out the pencils that I need, which are red berry, petunia, 
elderberry, iris, aqua and ocean. So I'm just going to start applying colour. Now, you're going to follow the instructions that I've given you. So you can see I'm telling you where to apply it and how to drag it out, what it's going to look like when it's done. I'm following my instructions and just putting the colour where I would like it. So we're going to start with petunia and red berry. This is on watercolour card. So you're just going to add some of the colour in by colouring it in. So you don't need to go all of the way. You can just go part of the way. Um, and you're going to preserve your highlight in the centre. Then we're going to add the red on this end, coming up towards there. And then we stop and preserve our highlight in the centre. And we're going to repeat the same over here. I mean, this just looks pretty, uh, looking at it just like this, doesn't it? But when you add the water, it's like magic, isn't it? It is like magic. And you're just going to add down the colour where you need it and preserve your highlight in the centre, which is the white area. And just choose the areas that you would like to have, the red and the petunia. Uh, you can vary where you put it. And because the, we're using the two opposite ends of the pencil as we put them together, you know that these two colours are going to work. So we've done that. We've curated the double-ended aqua pencils to make the job of deciding where you're putting the colour very, very easy for you. So you don't have to worry about it. If you go to either end of the pencil like this, they are going to blend together and work together beautifully. So I've put a little bit of that one down. Now we're going to move over to the iris and, iris and elderberry, I think it is. Yep, iris and elderberry and we're going to add that down so I'm just going to choose where I'm having the iris choose where I'm having the elderberry add a little bit of color down now you can see you don't have to worry about um, being very careful with how you put it down or very controlled you don't have to worry about being the best colorist in the world all you're doing now is getting pigment onto the page and the pigment that you're getting on the page is from the pencil via what we call a binder. Now it's a water soluble binder that you've got in here and that means when you add water to it, the water soluble binder dissolves and allows the pigment to move around on the page and the pigment is your paint. So it's a, if, an effective and easy way of delivering a dry paint substance to um, your piece of artwork and makes it a very, very easy and forgiving way of adding colour to a project. So we're just scribbling it down in both areas and then we'll start adding some water. I will talk to you about how to work with your valve brush, which are included, your two valve brushes, because that is important in terms of technique. And once you've got how to, how to hold and control your valve brush down um, and then how you're applying your colour in different ways, then you're good to go. And you're just going to have the best time colouring in the images that we've put in the box for you. There we go. So I've coloured all of those. The great thing about um, the watercolour pencils as well is, you'll see I've done a, quite a large area over quite a wide space. It's not like an alcohol pen where you have to work in one small area and quick to get that blend because nothing's going to happen to this. It's not drying out. It's not going to disappear. It's just going to sit there. In fact, I could walk away, go to bed, have a gin maybe first, go to bed, <laughs> come back in the morning after breakfast and activate this with water. Right. So it's not going to dry out, it's not going to go anywhere. You've applied the colour but you're fine, take your time with it. And I think that's a good thing because with alcohol, you'll hear us say a lot, be quick because the alcohol will evaporate and then you won't be able to blend. And that's why we talk to you, tell you and teach you to work in a small area at a time. Don't have to worry about that with watercolour pencils, just do it at your own leisure. Now your valve pencils that come, you've got two different sizes of brush tip, so you can see that there. You've got a larger and a finer. So the larger for bigger detail, the smaller for smaller detail. Choose your poison, doesn't matter. You can use either, whichever one you prefer. I tend to use the large one more than I do the small one. I don't know why, just how I feel. So you just choose how you feel and you'll be fine with it. Now, when you're using a valve brush, this one's already been used, so I think I do it on the back of my hand. Can you see there's some moisture there? And we can just say, say, see that. There's water, there we go, coming out of the brush. Oh yeah, we can see that. Now, when, there's a, when it's a dry brush that hasn't been used, I wonder if there's one here. I think these have all been used, nope, all been used. When your bristles are dry, what you have to do to get the water going is give your 
pen a little squeeze and that'll get a little bit of water flowing here once you've done that do not continue to squeeze because the water will flow with what's called capillary action and that just means that the constant movement of the pen of the brush on your surface will keep that water flowing at the right level for water colouring. If you continuously squeeze, 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 you'll flood your colouring and you'll find it hard to control the water flow. So make sure that you do not keep squeezing. I would suggest that you hold your brush down here where it's impossible to squeeze and then if you do hold your pen or you fit or you involuntarily squeeze because you can't help yourself <laughs> uh, it's not going to make any difference because you're holding it where it doesn't matter and then only if your brush starts to dry do you go back and give a tiny little push there and then go back to holding it where you can't squeeze so not lots of squeezing is an important point yeah i remember learning that quite a long time ago uh, leanne uh, when we bought out when i first used our watercolors mm. um, because it is you think it's just going to be really easy to use but you you're right you just want to squeeze don't you yeah you do <laughs> yeah. you just think when you, you need first to get it you yeah, think, get the water absolutely. out get the water out you don't yep. need to so once you've done that and your brush is primed and ready to go so this is damp then you're just going to emulsify your paint so i'm just touching the brush on my watercolour it emulsifies the colour and drags word. it round um, and there you go that bit is coloured at this point you need a piece of tissue you can see I've picked up some pink on the tip of my brush there clean your brush so no more pink is coming off and then go and do the red so don't go between the two colours clean your brush between each one really important and then you won't contaminate those colours clean again and now when I want to bring them together, I can bring them together for that soft blend and clean my brush. And that keeps the join of the colour in the middle obvious and the two separate colours very obvious as well. So just colour that in and drag it down. Just move the binder, water soluble and the pigment to where you would like it to be. When you're happy with it, stop, clean your brush, do the other colour and then bring it together to blend and then clean your brush again and then you just move on and do all of them just keep remembering to clean your brush um, now I'm going to colour a little bit on the scrap book on the scrap paper here and show you in a second uh, the how much pencil you need to put down and how far it will go and the difference between getting a bright vibrant colour and a soft gentle colour so see what I'm doing all the time is going back and taking any residue colour off the bristles on my brush off on the kitchen towel when I'm working these two together. And that's really important that you keep doing that. What If you don't, you'll just end up with one solid um, muddy mess of a colour and you don't want to do that. So we just do our water colouring in that way, moving around and you'll continue to do that. I mean, that could not be any more simple. You'll go and choose some more colours You'll colour them together, keep cleaning your brush. You'll notice I've never moved from this position. I haven't gone back and added any more water to my brush at all while I'm doing this colouring. And you won't need to, not when you're using the capillary action. So you need a tiny amount of water, not a lot of water. If you use too much, it'll flood all over the colouring and then um, you'll just get you know, the colours all mixing in together and it'll be a little bit less of it would be less defined and you won't be in control of the result any longer would you say leanne if you're new to coloring with a uh, water brush would it is it easier to just use a normal paintbrush like with the first academy of color and then to practice with this one yes i prefer yeah always prefer so that is my favorite brush ever right i love it because oh, right. i can put as much water on or off yes. as i want yeah um, the convenience with this is you can take your water with you yes so you can color on the go and that's why we've put them in because if you're taking your coloring with you somewhere and you're not going to be somewhere where you can get water or a pot this is great for that right. but if you are at home i always advocate for this right it's my preference yes and you'll have heard me say on many other coloring shows before mm -hmm. 
don't do a water valve brush, do a regular brush. Yeah. And so you would be forgiven for me saying, Leanne, why the dickens have you put water valve brushes in there then? Because you always tell us to use a regular brush. And I do. And I still say that mm -hmm. that is the best way to do it, which is why we included it in the first box. Any detailed brush like that will work for you. The convenience of this is taking your water with you when you... Yeah, I mean, for me, I'm thrilled because I love a chamber water brush. I do a lot of my watercolour in with a sparkle pen. Yes. Because I just love having that in, that barrel in a pen, having that liquid in the pen that you yes. can do your watercolour in. Uh, but I know I've seen you many, many times with a normal brush. Uh, and I do also know for, for beginners or people that are just learning watercolours, a normal brush is definitely easier, isn't it? It definitely is because um, you have more control. You control the water. You control yeah. the water. So we're just moving around, moving this colour around and filling it in. We can get a new colour if we want to and add to it. Uh, you, you know, it's entirely up to you. That is your butterfly. It can be whatever colour you want your butterfly to be. As you continue on <coughs> and add more colours, these are the colours I've been using, that's what you're going to be able to achieve. And you've got your step-by-step -step instructions to take you to that point, of course. Um, and then you can finish it off into a finished project if you want to. It's entirely up to you. So very easy to do by just scribbling the pencil onto the watercolour card and then moving the colour around with your brush. Now, just very quickly, I want to talk to you about adding colour down on card. So when you're adding colour <coughs> to your watercolour card, I'm just going to do it on the end of this side of this topic because I'm not going to finish it. What you want to do is add your colour gently. So I'm not putting any pressure on my pencil here. I'm just colouring it across the surface of the card. And what you can see there is all of the texture of the white card is still there because I'm not filling in those textured pieces. I'm whispering the pencil across the top. I'm not applying any pressure. By doing that, you get the right amount of colour in that area to then move it around with your water brush. And when you put your water brush on and move it, look how the colour intensifies. So this is where the binder melts and the pigment moves with the water wow. and the colour intensifies. What you can do with that then is move that even further. So because I've got that all there, there's quite a bit of pigment on it, I can start to drag this down. And this is where you get your dark to light and softer effects from moving that colour where you would like it to go. That's how you get your highlight and your dark. So it's very, very small amounts of colour you need to add. If you put two not too much, but if you want a much more intense colour, that's when you're going to add pressure. So you see, I'm now applying a little bit of pressure and I've got that very um, much more solid appearance to that colour and a darker colour. It looks very different to that because there's so much more pigment on the surface of the card. I can still move this around, but the colour looks very different to this colour. This is almost a navy, this is a pale blue. Same pencil, it just, um, it just depends on the amount of pressure that you've applied when you're putting it on there. And this will still move, but when you move it, again, the colour will be a little more intense and darker. You can do it even lighter by doing a whisper touch, so hardly touching that at all. So this is the lightest version. Clean my brush on my kitchen towel. And then if I use this, you can see I've got a pastel version of that colour now. So there you can see with one pencil, depending how much pressure I use when I'm applying it to the card, I've gone from a very pale pastel blue to a mid cerulean tone to a navy. And that's just about the pressure from the pencil. So you get lots of different colours in each pencil too. So for all you've got 12 pencils, 24 colours, you've actually got myriad yes. because adding the water and the amount of pigment you apply by the varying the pressure in the pencil gives you different color tones and different effects um, i would say practice with that at home in a small area yeah that's a great tip uh, and actually it's the one thing i absolutely love about watercolor pencils is because you can like leanne's just shown go from that vibrancy of color to those real pastel tones uh, there's no other pens or pencils like that unless you use watercolor is there no absolutely it's purely it is it's definitely a phenomena 
which is linked to watercolour and without yeah. a doubt now I've just done on that little bit of butterfly much more intense colour than I did when I applied the other ones and all I'm going to do is just emulsify that with water I'm going to clean my brush again in a second remember that's something we've got to do to clean our brush so clean it if I go to the next colour move this up Oh, Leanne, it's flying <laughs> out the door. They're loving your demos. We are on 80% of our whole day's stock has gone. Uh, and I'm not surprised. You're absolutely loving it. You're loving Leanne's demos. Uh, lots of uh, amazing uh, sample, uh, questions, not questions, um, comments coming through. Can't get my words out. Um, but yes, you're absolutely loving it. And that looks beautiful, Leanne. Um, it's lovely, isn't it? And you can do that yourself within 30 minutes of opening the box. Amazing. It's going to be very easy for you to do. Absolutely amazing. And Leanne, you put all of these in the Academy of Colour, the tutorial you do online, yes. don't you? So Absolutely. all of the boards. Um, and we did that live last night. Fabulous. So a minute, the minute you get this home, so if you order it today and it arrives tomorrow, you can go on and watch that education immediately. Um, they're all there. So it'll not just be this one, it'll be all the previous ones as well that you can see. And then I would highly recommend that you join the Facebook group, which is Academy of Colour. We've got over 5,000 people in there, I think now. Yeah. Um, and so many of you share your experiences, share your journey. I'm in there a lot. A lot of our other colouring experts are in there a lot. We give you feedback. We offer you help if you ask for it. We give you suggestions in terms of what you might want to think about doing to improve your results. And actually, if you are just a master colorist we just sing your praises and give you high fives and whoops all the way through and it's great to see you all helping each other as well and often before we even get a chance to go in there and answer a question you've all answered the questions it's such a wonderful community it's a community based on kindness help and support and that is to help you on your colouring journey and everybody who joins that group says the same they have that experience in there it really is I think one of the best education programmes that has ever existed in the craft industry. And there you go. And where else can you find anything like that on the market where you have that full education system, uh, someone holding your hand every step of the way, as well as making lots of crafty new friends because that's what the Facebook group is all about as well. Uh, so the Academy Colour, it's a new box today. Uh, this one is our dual colour, a duo colour aqua pencils, £33.99 today or $44.95. You are getting everything you can see here inside that beautifully presented box. If you go for the original Academy of Colour, you will come, it will come with a binder uh, where you can put your stamps into it and have it all lovely. Uh, you're going to be able to be colouring these stamps like this, which are incredible. And these are all the colours that you are getting in that box. That's a lot of colours in all those different shades, like Leanne was showing us, all those different colour hues, all depending on where you hold that pencil, um, which is amazing. So uh, there you go. If you want the academy today be quick because we're going to be going over 80 uh, percent of that stock soon but do you want a 35 percent saving on our original color uh, academy of color uh, this is the one for you then so this is the beginning one this is the one where your coloring journey starts this is the one which has the most amount in it but look at that price you are saving a huge amount 35 percent 96 pound today 128 dollars uh, you're getting all your markers in there which is your watercolors and your alcohol you're getting your stamps your tools and so much more in a beautifully presented binder now if you want to go on to something a little bit different and you go on to the next one which is our portraits this was my favorite one I love doing hair and skin it's the one thing I like to practice I love to do the contours uh, this is the one for you it's amazing 30% saving as well 33 pounds 99 or 44 dollars 95 now we've also also got the flora and fauna another beautiful one to do uh, it's got an incredible 30% saving also uh, it's got some amazing stamps in this one which are truly beautiful to color remember whichever one you're going for if you're collecting all of the Academy of Color all these stamps you can mix and match into each individual uh, 
fault, folders really, uh, but the tuition comes from our Leanne with every single one of these. $33.99 or $44.95. Uh, we've also got a feathers and fur. Uh, this one is a great one if you wanted to learn how to do all those techniques, uh, the pointy, pointillism, I want to say, is that the right word? Yes, pointillism. Uh, all your fur, brush strokes, uh, anything like that, this is the box for you. Another 30% saving. Uh, look at the platinum price, £27.19 or $30.16, which is amazing. Uh, and then, oh, 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 we are limited on the cute characters. There's less than 10% of this stock. So what I would do is recommend anybody that's going for them all today or cherry picking which ones they like, go for this one because once they're gone, I don't think they'll be back in stock. So uh, uh, this one is amazing. Uh, and then we've got our jewel color ones, which are our, um, our, our aqua pencils that we have on the show today. Uh, amazing. Right, so uh, let's have a look and see who's here. We're so busy, so, so busy. Uh, Kathy's in uh, saying that's beautiful, Leanne. Kate is saying, uh, can you buy the water valve brushes separately? I don't think we do them separately, do we? Um, I think we might have some on our website. I think Spectrum Noir did used to do them. Oh, okay. So we did used to do water valve brushes in the Spectrum Noir range. I don't know if they're sold out or whether we're waiting for them to come back in. But have a look on the website because right. I know there was something that we did used to do. Ah, oh, okay. Have a look. Uh, Barbara saying good morning, crafters from New Zealand. It's oh, it's three thirty a.m. Uh, and it's my birthday. Happy birthday, Barbara. That's amazing. What's duo pencils uh, and normal colouring pencils, please? Okay. I'll let Leanne answer that. So in the next box, you will also have a duo pencil. So duo just means two. So that means a duo pencil has two colours in each one pencil. This box here is the watercolour, the aqua pencils. So you've got duo aqua watercolour pencils. The next box, the final box that you get, that we've got coming, you'll get duo wax pencils. And they work in a different way because they don't emulsify with water. So um, duo just means two colours. You get two colours in a pencil, 12 pencils, 24 colours in each box. These are the watercolour version. The next box will be the wax version. Perfect. Amazing. Uh, Sandy saying, hello, lovely ladies. Uh, so happy to see you both. Uh, shame, shame, shame on me. I have purchased the latest Academy of Colour and I have all the other boxes and she hasn't been using them. Oh, oh. Shame on you, Sandy. Yes, yeah, she's saying shame on her, but she will have to get them out and start using them. Uh, yeah, so lots of love for all of that. Jan, Jan is saying, I have the watercolour pencils and I've discovered that I'm using them completely wrong. So thank you very much, Leanne, for the demonstration. Um, absolutely and there isn't really any rights or wrongs there's just guidance isn't there on how to use them and get the full quality out of them uh, but why we let you check out your baskets take a look at this welcome to club inspire the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course the Club Inspire community group on Facebook where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. of this, uh, <laughs> mix it all together, create my masterpiece. What's going on here, Ben? Are you making something? I am indeed. I am just creating a culinary masterpiece and whipping up some sweet treats for our crafty community. So if you don't mind, I've got some finishing touches to do. 
Et voila, five days of truly scrumptious sweet surprises. Unwrap a new decadent deal each and every day between Monday the 20th and Friday the 24th of February. Oh, that looks amazing. Can I have a peek? Mm-hmm. Oh. Wow, there's deals, discounts and goodies here, Ben, for every type of crafter. But we don't want to spoil the surprise right now. We've got some amazing deals and surprises right throughout the week, so you'll have to tune in each and every day, first show, to find out what they are. And extra sweet deals are going to be landing every day, so head over to Crafters Companion website where you'll find some sweet deals. We've got a double bill of great news for our US crafters. You'll now pay less for delivery and your parcels will arrive in double quick time. Our team has joined forces with UPS to speed up the delivery of crafters companion orders across the USA. Order online with us and your crafting treats will arrive on your doorstep in just two to three business days. And shipping will cost just $9.95 so you can treat yourself to even more crafting goodies. So head over to the Crafters Companion website to place your order today. You'll be getting creative with all your treats in no time at all. It's nice seeing all those videos, isn't it? And remember, we're in our sweet surprise event. So head over to the website because we've got lots of sweet surprises for you. But I do have one amazing sweet surprise, only $20 and 20 pounds. Now, I'm not asking you to buy that. What I'm saying is if you spend $20, 20 pounds, you will get this free gift popped in your parcel all for nothing, uh, which is amazing. So it's our scratch and reveal card kit, which we absolutely love. It has has 57 of those gorgeous stickers in there that you're going to be able to do all the surprises now if you spend another 70 pounds so 100 pounds in total uh, you will find both of these in your basket so on all orders uh, that are 100 pounds and over you will have those two free gifts uh, we love we love surprises we love gifts um, and uh, we love all that treating and remember for our US viewers uh, if you're spending 75 dollars uh, Leanne herself has uh, begged pleaded and borrowed or maybe demanded um, that you're going to get free uh, shipment to the US which is incredible value so make sure you fill up those baskets now without further ado I think we need to get back over to the lovely lady herself and see what else she's got in store with this beautiful Academy of Colour so I, th I thought we'd have a look at how to cut how to create ourselves a colour palette with um, the watercolour pencils and so we're going to have a look at how to do that now and then also how to mix a different shade of a colour so you can add more depth and dimension in your colouring so we're going to start with the rose and the rose comes in the box and the colours that we're going to be using are uh, petunia mango soft red and I think that is spruce yes spruce and bamboo so they're the colours that we're going to be using oh and I'll need a little bit of ebony later but I'll get that out and we're just going to create ourselves a palette now what does creating a palette mean you'll need a piece of watercolour card spare watercolour card now what I would be doing I'm going to show you this actually because I was talking about this on the education last night and I didn't have a pair of scissors I'm going to grab a pair of scissors to create a palette what I would do is cut myself a piece of watercolour card about two inches wide okay and then I'm going to take a pen when I find one find a pen come to me pen hello pen where are you <laughs> come hello pen um mm, I just want a pen I've got a pen over here oh thank you <laughs> oh, that was me impersonating my granddaughter Ada. <laughs> Whenever she can't find anything that she wants, she literally just said, hello, so flute. A mum keeps hiding a flute that I bought her. Don't know why. <laughs> uh, I just, might be able to have a guess at that. <laughs> uh, I don't know why she hides it, but Ada loses the flute regularly because her mum's hid it. And she walks down the flute going, flute. Where are you, Loot? Hello, Loot. <laughs> that is very cute. <laughs> she loses a number nine out of a puzzle. Nine, where are you? Hello, nine. So I was impersonating her there, needing a pen. Thank you, Debbie. Um, and then what I would write on here is Rose Palette. 
Okay, so I know that's my palette for my rose. And then I would write the colours. So I'm going to do mango, soft red. I had petunia, I think, from memory. Um, spruce. Bamboo. And then I'll do ebony down here. Okay, so I know the colours that I've done. So that's what I'm doing for myself. Then I colour that colour down. So the first one is mango. So this is creating a palette on a piece of watercolour card. Then I'm taking the mango pencil and I am, with some pressure, adding a good amount of that mango onto the watercolour card. So that's my paint palette for me to start working from. I'll do the same with soft red. I was saying to Craig earlier that I love doing a palette yeah. with watercolour pencils. Yeah. One of my favourite things it's to fantastic, do. fantastic, isn't yeah. it? Petunia. Where do the names come from, Leanne? Uh, out of Leah's head. Oh, it's Leah's head. I did wonder who... I yeah. thought someone must make up the names to go with them. Uh, Leah is phenomenal at names. All of the ink pad names, Leah. Ah, Pencil names, Leah. There we go. Yeah, That's she's good incredibly know. creative. Um, very, very good at it. It's one of our skill sets. The rest of us all just look at each other like we're speaking in a foreign language. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's like a green. <laughs> uh, it's a green one. It's a pale green one. Mm, it's a brown one. <laughs> so Lee is very, very good at it. A little bit of ebony there. Now, the reason I like to show you how to create that palette is you don't need to throw that palette away. You can keep that now. Yep. And if you only use a little bit of this colour, you can come back to that in another six months' time and still pick up from the palette and use it. Amazing. So you're not wasting any of that pigment, and it means that you aren't using more than you need, you're not wasting it anywhere. But when you come back, you'll know it was for the rose, it was your rose palette, and you know those were the colours that you put on there. And then if you need to add more colour back in, because you need a little bit more, you know which colour you need to go and get. So that's what you're going to start creating for yourself when you create a palette. Then we're just going to go in and colour. And I'm actually going to go back to, I'm just going to show you how you can do it with your other brush, the one that came in the main box. So I'm going to dip into my water, bring that in so you can see it. Dip into my water, take off the majority of the water on my kitchen towel so it's damp, and then choose which colour I'm going to start with. And I'm actually going to start with the petunia. Don't forget you've got the step-by-steps and of course this is what you're aiming for to colour at the side. Step-by-steps are already going to be on the website for you. So I'm going to pick up some petunia from my palette and then take it straight to my petal and paint it on. And so you're just creating yourself that lovely um, ability to have the watercolours there, pick them up and use them using the palette and add those and drag them out when you're colouring them straight to the image that you're colouring on. So this could not be easier. You're in control because you're taking the water. You can use your valve brush that comes as well. Uh, and then just keep adding in the colour to the point you're happy. So I'm happy with my petunia to that point. So now what I need to do is clean my brush. I'll turn that round. I find it easier to cut to paint on the side rather than I do straight up and down. Clean my brush so get any of the residual pigment off there. Make sure it's damp. Now I'm going to go to the soft red and then bring the soft red to the edge of that petunia and just paint it out. So I'm just extending the different colour there and then clean my brush. Pick up a little bit of mango from my palette. Bring the mango to the edge of the petal. So I've preserved my highlight. And then what I like to do is bring the mango back along into some of the pink because that mixes the peachy colour and it makes the petal feel like it's got that natural movement on it. And what's amazing about that is you really can't see where one colour ends and the next one starts. It's blended beautifully. And for using a palette is what really does help you do that effortlessly. So I go back to my palette now. I'm going back to the petunia again, picking it up. And I've done tiny little swatches here. Actually, in life at home, I do a much bigger block yep. of colour. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, but I just wanted, to, I didn't want you to watch me colouring colour for ages. So just to give you the idea. And then I just go back in with my petunia here. And I love these colours that you're using. 
The colours in here are, I think the, the colours we've chosen for the box, you've got all of the good colours and none of the bad. So every single one of them is a lovely, true, vibrant representation of that colour, which gives you the ability to really softly blend it out. So look, if I did that whole petal, just using that one bit from the palette, I can softly blend an entire pale pink petal there if I want to. And with hardly using any hardly, of the pencil. Hardly using anything at all. So your pencils are going to last you a long time. And they'll last you that little bit longer by creating a palette in this way. I'm going to pick up a little bit of the soft red actually though and add that in. And then a little bit of the mango. And I'm going to bring that to the edge here. And just blend it back in. And you just work around your petal, choosing where you would like the colour and how you want to do it and building up that colour. I could watch this all day. <laughs> it's very therapeutic. Yes, very. Uh, it's therapeutic in the watching and in the doing. Mm. And you see, all I'm doing is going back into my palette, picking up the colour, extending that around cleaning my brush, picking up the next little bit of colour and painting it on. And the magic of these is that it does the blending for you right in front of your eyes. Very, very, very simple to do. Now, one of the things I want to mention is what you should never do, and I need everybody to swear in the law court of Leanne at this point. Uh, your hands up. You're never, ever, I've got, look, I'm even looking over the top of my glasses. You're never going to do this, ever. You're never going to take your pencil and dip it in your water pot. Oh. Never. Because if you do that, the, wo the wood is going to get wet, obviously. It's gone in the water. And then because wood is porous, it's going to soak all the way up the pencil. And because your lead is with a water-soluble binder, it's going to disintegrate. So it's just going to fall apart. You're going to ruin your pencil. So never, ever, ever put water, your pencil into your water. However... If you want to get an intense piece of colour to really add a pop, you can pick colour directly from the pencil, which is what I'm going to show you now. So we're going to wet the brush, touch and take off a lot of the water. So this is just damp now. It's not a wet brush, it's a damp brush. And then you can go to the tip of your pencil and to the tip only, do not touch the wood. To the tip of your pencil, you can go and pick up a little bit of that intense colour directly to your brush if you want to and that means you can add a pop of that to add in your depth and you can see the difference that that immediately made to that petal. So a tiny little bit of water and I like to twist my um, nib as I'm doing it and I'm making sure that the tip of this brush and can I also say never do this with a valve brush because there'll be too much water and it'll flood down into the wood. As soon as this wood gets wet, game over for your pencil. So be very, very careful. You're only touching the sharpened point gently at the end. And then you take that pop of colour and you add that into the areas where you would like to intensify a little bit. And you can see the difference that immediately makes in terms of the shine and realism on that petal. Now, another way you can do that is by mixing a new colour uh, and by using your palette to do that. So I'm going to show you how to do that too. So if you really want to create some drama and have uh, some darker areas, and I'm just going to show you what I mean by that. So you see, I've continued to add the colour. I would do the same for the yellow and for the soft red. You can see how I've built that colour up on this one, which is what you would do. But you can see in areas, it's much uh, more shaded because I've mixed a new colour. So to do that, what you're going to do is shade. And then I'm going to have my petunia. Okay. And a little bit of ebony. Charlotte's just said, can you not draw straight onto it or is that naughty? That's naughty, Charlotte. Um, and I'll tell you why it's naughty. When this is already wet, I'll show you down here. This is a piece of wet card because we're painting on it. And I go and draw straight on it. 
which is what I'm doing there. And now I try to paint that out, the line won't move. So you ruin your painting, that line will stay. And that's because the pigment seals and grabs to water, it moves with water. So immediately you do that, it's dyed the cardstock and you're not moving it anywhere. It moves on a dry cardstock because there's no water there and you can move the pigment round and do your painting. But if you put it onto something that's already wet, you're just gonna get lots of lines. That's which is so why you need to go onto your palette. And great question, Charlotte, because I've never thought to ask that before either. Now I've mixed my new two colours here. See, this is my shade. And then what I'm going to do is with my damp brush, mix the two together. So I'm creating a custom colour on my palette of the two together by mixing them. And now what I can do is go in with my brush and add in that ready shade colour just in that area where I would like it to be. Clean it off so there's not too much and you don't overpower or overwhelm. Go back in with your damp brush and just drag that out. And what you've done then is add in that depth of shade to those areas amazing and that's how you create that look and feel and it just depends let me move that along so you can see there we go that's how you create that look and feel so you can see in the areas where there would be more shade and we've talked about that in all of the other classes that's how you go in and create that depth and that's how you get the nice smooth blend and this is what you don't want to do going in with your pencil because it'll grab straight away to the card you won't be able to move the color around absolutely amazing and look how beautiful that looks and remember all that tuition you're seeing leanne launch them today uh, but all that tuition is online when you get your academy of color you will get a little qr code which is amazing you just either scan that or go to the website and you can get all of those uh, different tutorials of uh, they are live so leanne filmed them live uh, and they are quite incredible um, and actually someone just uh, summed up the question saying that debbie you're right uh, it is uh, about hand holding and your hand is held throughout this journey and it makes it fun uh, yes we all know Leanne is fun I mean <laughs> you are fun Leanne that's a nice way of putting it thank you <laughs> others could say a liability uh, others could say a loose cannon maybe some could say dangerous but I will take fun Johnny well, says fun. fun but firm I'm definitely that <laughs> Uh, we love that. Uh, Anne has got a question. She says, Leanne, yeah. I have the full set of Spectrum Noir professional coloured pencils yeah. uh, that, were, that came with the blending solution. Do these have uh, equivalent today? No. So they're the wax pencils and that's what comes in the next box. Um, so no, they don't work in this way with the blending solution. They're a wax pencil and the tutorials for wax pencils will follow with the next launch that we do. Lovely. I'm just reaching down. Look at all these goodie bags that I've got here. Um, I'm just going to pop them up here and bring these ones into you. Um, so, uh, yes, so I was just going to, I was reading as well at the same time. Um, uh, Elaine is saying, OMG, I was just listening and looked up to see this amazing technique. Just wow. Um, and Alison is saying, Leanne, you are a tremendous teacher and break everything down into easy steps, making it easy for us to follow. Uh, would never have thought of making the palette with pencils. Um, and actually, Leanne, it's a good point, isn't it? Because there are so many different techniques, uh, but we don't, no one knows them all. There is always something that someone has hasn't seen. We're always learning. I'm still learning. I'm still on a voyage discovery with colouring. We all are. We can never know it all. But what we can do is share what we've learned and what works for us with you so that we can make life easier for you. And I think that's what we do very well here at Crafters Companion. And with regard to your palette, don't throw this away when you've done it because there's still lots of pigment on there that's very usable. So you save that. You can keep it in the bottom of your box if you want to. You keep it in your binder. If you've got it, you know, the little pockets that we gave you that come in the binder, put it in one of your little plastic pockets. You can go back in six months time and pick up this pigment from here and use it. 
till it will give you no more and then you just add a little bit more so they're really useful to create and then to keep and that means you don't waste any of your beautiful colour. Yeah, love that. And great for the memory as well. We should know how shot mine is. Mine so, too. Uh, <laughs> it's a great one to know what we colours them with. Um, and one more, uh, a bit of a request here from yeah. uh, Sarah. is saying, Leanne, could you do colouring pads, uh, but with watercolours card, please? Because she loved our colouring pads um, with the alcohol and she would love them in watercolour. Oh, well, that's very possible. Never say mm, never. Absolutely. I'll keep a note of that when we're doing our next product planning session. Yes, that would be amazing. Right, another amazing thing. So we're going to do a few little uh, cartloads uh, from tonight. So we're giving you sneaky peeks, but you can go on the website and uh, get yourself a bargain. Uh, this one is our Nature's Garden one, and there is tons in this bag, uh, and you're only paying £25 or $40. Absolutely amazing. Uh, I love this die set. This is the lantern one. It's so pretty. You can use this for so many different things. It's our secret garden. Uh, We've also got a fabulous hummingbird, a botanical wreath uh, in this bag. So this is all nature's garden, as you can see, 20 uh, pounds platinum or $32. Uh, we've also got the stamp and die. I love this one. I say it time and time again. This is so usable, this swing. I think all those little cutesy animals that you've got, you can put on this swing. Doesn't have to just be with the gnomes. Talking about the gnomes, we've got some of those gorgeous sentiment stamps in there as well. So creating lots of different sentiments we've also got our wisteria the friends die and stamp there so you're getting that large uh, die which is the uh, friends and then the stamps as well um, and that's it in my basket but look at how many things you are getting in that one uh, absolutely amazing 25 pounds or 40 dollars although i have to say although that's a good bag this one blew my mind um, i love christmas and i think getting ready for christmas and any Think that you can get together i'm just going to show you this one this is incredible let me bring make sure it's not upside down uh, this was our compendium from violet studios our home of, for christmas uh, it's beautiful it's a whole card making kit look at the top here over 550 pieces in this this is 20 pounds go on the website you will find this for 20 pounds you are only paying 25 pounds which means everything else i'm showing you now is only going to cost you five pounds which is incredible um, and there is so much in here you've got these ones which are your maker scene uh, these are great for layering up doing your using your colored cardstock uh, we've also got that amazing really large edible die which is the uh, christmas wishes there um, and a really lovely one we've then got the i can't believe this is in here i mean this was our snowman this is our reveal your message uh, so literally you pull his hat up that's worth it $13.99. I mean, that's $13.99. That's £20. I mean, look at the value of this box. It's incredible. We're also giving you some additional gems in there. We've also popped in a stamp and die uh, creator card, which is incredible. Uh, there's also our snowman. So uh, I say ours, Sarah's Watercolour Christmas, which is that beautiful builder snowman. You're getting dies and stamps. Uh, we've then got the gorgeous stamp set. This one here is just beautiful. You've got Santa you've got that over the rooftop scene and then we've got one more which is our amazing snowman set I'm going to turn that around so you can see all those snowman stamps that you get on there all of that plus this one which is £20 on its own £25 or $40 today which is incredible now if you look at the platinum price you've only got to spend that £20 and you get an additional uh, free gift in your that card making kit in there for absolutely nothing uh, so that's an absolutely amazing amazing bundle to have especially uh, if like me you like to get a little bit more prepared for Christmas um, I mean think of all the little uh, gifts that you could be giving uh, with these goodie bags so amazing uh, Leanne you've got a, a fabulous one over there or a spectacular one I should say I have got a spectacular bag here Debbie <laughs> so spectacular I had to remind myself about what the Dickens I was thinking. I mean, really, you're taking it. You are taking advantage of the fact that I have severe brain fog. Um, and you've got a hundred pounds or a hundred and thirty-five dollar saving in this bag, which is, I mean, it's incredible. So, I mean, should we take one thing out of time? Or should I just tip the lot out, Debbie? Oh, 
Oh, I've never seen anyone tip it all I'm out. Just going to yeah. tip it all out. Go rogue. Go rogue. Ba, ba, ba. <gasps> Look at that. Look at all of this That's in ridiculous. here. That's ridiculous. I mean, it really is. <laughs> We're going to put it back in rather than take oh, it all I out. Oh, I like I mean, that. It's got so much in here. It is crazy. Now, first thing I'm going to start with are these brilliant brilliant stamps that we've got in here and actually if you're getting academy of color today these would be perfect 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 for you to color in so we've got those we've then got one of our jigsaw dies which you absolutely wow. love and that's the speech bubble one i've also got a set of these fabulous little foliage pieces from our gemini mini collection then we've got some of my favourite creator cards of all time. Those beautiful decorative frames with the stamps and die cut words to go in the centre. They look incredible. These blew my mind when we first launched them. The chalkboard stamps. I love those. It's a very, it's a different, modern, more quirky way of conveying a message. Maybe to the younger members of the family. It is a brilliant, brilliant die, uh, sorry, stamp set to have. Then these, if you watched in birthday week, this is a die. Friends like you are far too few. That's for you, Debbie. Friends like few are far too few. Um, they really are. You could not get a more loyal and gorgeous friend than Debbie oh, ever. Oh, you're you so really kind. You really couldn't. They really. Thank you. Um, yeah. If you watched me in birthday week demonstrating with our shimmer ink pads, these are the sentiments I was using where they are brilliant to die cut out and then ink up with your shimmer ink pads. We've got more of these fabulous chalkboard sentiments for you so um, something for lots of different people in the family i love the sentiments in here may you be forever blessed is that not a lovely sentiment to send to somebody it really is then ribbon threading who doesn't i mean this is everything you're getting who doesn't love a little bit of ribbon threading and that's for a full background and that's for each a fabulous dye isn't it yeah full background to thread your ribbon and we show you three different paths you can thread the ribbon in so uh, not just one thing you can do with it these i adore these i have to say these are fabulous so you've got um beautiful winter floral scent uh, stamps to color in there great for the season that will be upcoming then you've got one of our three in one creator card oh, wow. dies love such a size they're five by seven and of course you can use those dies to create only the frame only the balloons or the balloon and the frame together so you get three looks in each one of the sets still going debbie <laughs> then some of the most intricate frames we have ever created when it comes to die cutting included one of those for you too and you can see that's a nice sized frame for a five by seven card uh, and that's not cheap they're expensive uh, but we've put it in the bag for you so it makes a real great statement and then you've got a full pack of our acrylic paint markers in wow. here and you've got your gold silver black and white you need that pack just for the white for your coloring absolutely fantastic for adding all of your highlights in and then we're putting in one I'm of our uh, i'm gonna i uh, know i'm gonna cut it open i'm probably gonna get wrong off tracy nobody tell tracy is she not in today? She's That's not all right. In. We're okay. When the cat's away, <laughs> the mice will play. Um, let's open that up because this pad is glorious. And the reason it's glorious is in each of these beautiful pastel tones that you can see, you get the beautiful linen and then you get the pearlescent to match. So beautiful linen coming up in the lilac, pearlescent to match. Same with the mint, it's like an aqua mint colour, pearlescent to match. Lemon linen and then pearlescent to match which is absolutely gorgeous for all of your projects and getting some lovely contrast in there so you're getting 24 sheets of that in all of those beautiful pearlescent colors linen and pearlescent to match in each color all of that comes in that bag and i can hardly believe you're getting all of this 14 things in here <laughs> for 32 pounds or 40 dollars if you're a platinum member okay 40 percent of the stock has gone it's meant to be on the cartload show tonight i think maybe if it is on the cartload show tonight it'll be hanging on by the skin of its teeth so if you like what you see in that bundle then definitely grab it i think it's great to keep things for you it's great to give little gifts it's great maybe to put in raffles it's a great try me set so if there are things in there that you haven't done yet where you're like 
I really want to try doing those statement sentiments, but I haven't wanted to invest it in a whole range. I'm not sure if it's for me. Getting a bundle like this is great because you can think, well, I've never tried that. I'll try it. And I'll, I'll try that. I'll try that. It's an affordable way of experimenting and pushing your craft to another level in a different level in a different place without having to invest a significant amount of money to do it, I think. Uh, amazing. I think that's one of the best bags I've ever seen. I know. Genuinely. Uh, what I love about it, Leanne, I feel like you've put that all together to really work with the Academy of Colour. Yes. Uh, because I know you get a gel pen with the uh, Academy of Colour in the first one. So that then enhances that just by having all those extra colours to do. Uh, that's a fabulous bag. And I'm not surprised over 40% has gone of that bag, which is incredible. Now, I have a really cool bag because it's rocker blocks uh, i love rocker blocks it's one of the questions i get asked the most why do we need rocker blocks or why do we need a stamping platform why do we need both you absolutely need both uh, if you've got a stamping platform we wax lyrical about them because they are amazing but actually rocker blocks really have their place they're simple to use you literally rock from heel to toe they're quick and simple they're all different sizes for all your different size stamps i love the fact that you get this long one here so you can do your sentiments as well but if you want to be creative with backgrounds and you've got like a background of flowers that you want to stamp with you can multiple stamp with these you can't do that on a stamping platform because you'd have to keep repositioning all the time these are quick fast and they work every single time i love my rocker blocks we keep them yeah we keep them in the studio time and time again they're very quick craig was using them this morning uh, you're just buying these these are 19.98, which is incredible value for all of the sizes that we do. That's all you're paying just for your rocker blocks. Everything else in this bag is absolutely There's more. free. Yes. Oh my so word. Everything you know, now is free. Debbie, I love the rocker blocks. Me too. I would never stamp live on air. Yeah before I had a rocker block. Me too. Well, I have to be honest, until I joined Crafters Companion, I, I didn't stamp because nope. I couldn't. Mm -hmm. I tried lots of other gadgets on the market to stamp with and I just couldn't get a good stamp. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember it was Sarah that taught me to use mm -hmm. the rocker blocks. I'd never used them and I, it was a game changer. Mm -hmm. I couldn't it believe it. They're amazing, yeah. aren't they? Yeah, absolutely amazing. But you are getting all of these stamps for absolutely no pennies whatsoever. Um, this one is one of my absolute favourites. I know it's Lily's as well. If you go on to our Instagram, you will find that me and Lily colour this one uh, because it's a really good one for practising where you want to do your shading on your hair. Uh, it's just the most incredible stamp. And then the uh, stamps that Arlianne was just shown in her bag, I've got the other ones to them. Uh, so if you want to go for that full set of uh, those uh, chalkboard stamps, uh, these three are completely different to the ones that Leanne has got in her bag. So you could go for both of these bags and only pay 60 pounds i mean that's amazing it is isn't amazing. it absolutely amazing and think of the saving that you're getting on there uh, absolutely incredible today that's our rocker blocks with all those mystery stamp sets well, i say mystery they're not mystery you're getting what i've shown you so uh, uh, i've not kept them a mystery any longer uh, so you can go for those ones um right the next one uh, i'm going to pass over to leanne because she's got an incredible bag for you now um, um, it's my Spectrum bag, Leanne's Spectrum Noir goodie bag. And I mean, I've, I've gone with the thing of, you know, when it's like, do as I say, not as I do. Um, I've done what I tell everybody else not to do, Johnny. And it's oh. in the bag. I've put it in the bag again, Johnny, and I shouldn't have. Now, I think the reason, I think, did Sarah do it? I think we're, we're now in this competition of who dare put it in the bag. If you've done it, I'm doing it. And I'm like, if you've done it, I'm doing it. So just take advantage of it because we've got in here a glossy highlight. <laughs> shouldn't be in the bag because they're like hen's teeth. They come in stock, they go out of stock. We shouldn't be putting them in the bags. So you've got your glossy highlight in here, um, which is phenomenal. It's an absolutely amazing product. And you've got a whole pack of our tri blend. Now, can I just say before I go any further, because when I show you everything else, that's it, you're buying these, and then everything else I'm about to show you is free of charge. You're not paying for anything else. Just those two things you're paying for. Wow. However, Debbie, it's limited stock, which means 
When it's green on the screen, it soon won't be seen. I hope Ben's proud of us. <laughs> I really, I'm sure he will be. I'm sure he will be. So it's limited stock. So when I show you now what you get in this bag additional to the two things that you're paying for, don't hang around. Get it in your basket and check out because it is limited stock. So you're getting a full pack of your tri-blends and actually some of my favourite colours. This is fantastic for skin. So for that stamp you've got in your bag with your hair and skin there, Debbie, this is a perfect set of tri-blends. Oh, yeah. Then you've also got your illustrator set here. Uh, beautiful colours in there. You've got another, oh my, I can't believe it, metallic paint markers wow. in that beautiful bronzy, almost rose goldy tone. It's like a coppery bronze, but it has a rose gold tinged to it too. That's free. You've also got uh, acrylic markers here in all of these bunny colours. Fantastic for upcycling, home decor, pebble art, wooden art, drawing on wine glasses, painting, blending, just so many different things you can do with those uh, denim jackets, kids' trainers, customisation, you know, so many things you can do with those. You also fish get Fish tanks, Leanne. Yes, fish Only tanks. Only because yesterday we had a pack on the show, different to these ones, yeah. and someone said while they were cleaning out their fish tank, it, gave, it made them feel naughty and they drew a fishing rod <gasps> on, their, on their fish tank. That's fantastic, <laughs> I love it. Fish tanks as well. Whatever yes. is your poison, <laughs> draw on it. Mirrors, the lot, messages to loved ones. Um, you're also getting a whole pack of your tricolour aqua markers in here so they're the watercolor techniques and you're getting a harmony water reactive ink pad in bordeaux so this is all of that is free all you're paying for is that and then all of this is entirely free of charge and this is a great bag for again try me techniques if you've never tried acrylic paint markers and you've really wanted to this is the time to do it if you've never tried our harmony water reactor if you're wondering just what it's all about now's the time aqua tricolor what are they about now's the time i think the thing with this is as well uh, it's great for replenishment so if you've got some of those things at home but you know that they're going to run out at a point in the future getting a bag like this means you've got them all ready to go it's also great for gifting and for getting people um, giving people the confidence to start using some of our art products because you haven't had to spend a lot of money to do it only 20 pounds or 32 dollars for everything you can see here with that saving and limited stock is absolutely phenomenal you're getting let's just remind you your full six set of tri-blend which is 18 colors three colors in each one of those markers so your 18 tri-blend you're getting your glossy highlight saying it like that because I'm not pretending it's not in the bag. Uh, you're getting your Harmony Water Reactive Ink Pad. You're getting a full set of your metallic paint markers in there and you've got three different nib sizes. So you've got a chisel, a large bullet and a fine detail in there. So that same colour delivered in three different methods in that lovely coppery, bronzy, rose goldy colour. You've got your Tricolour Aqua, three markers, nine colours in that set you've also got your acrylic paint markers in those beautiful pastel tones and you've got a set of illustrators in this really lovely i haven't got my glasses on let me tell you what it says i can't remember it says it is vintage and the lovely now can i just say vintage fabulous for fairy wings the ombre you get on a fairy wing or on a butterfly wing with the vintage set is truly incredible the transition from the peach all the way to the lavender is exceptional great for mermaid hair too absolutely incredible so you're getting there four of those markers as well all of that i can't believe it for 20 pounds or 32 dollars it's incredible no wonder it's limited stock um, if it's limited stock now i very much doubt it's going to be available for you when we get to cartload tonight and if it is something that you think you might like don't hang around for cartload because you don't want to be disappointed um, pop it in your bag get it checked out because that's going to contribute to your 75 remember minimum basket spend for that free shipping if you're stateside 
and it's also going to get you that free gift if you spend over 20 pounds which is amazing now something else that's limited stock i never thought i was going to be saying this uh, in the show because we did have a enormous amount of these but our academy of color the brand new one today is limited stock if it's green on the screen it soon won't be seen <laughs> i love it uh, absolutely brilliant um kirsty's just saying debbie that was me i've just updated my fishing rod it now has a reel <laughs> <laughs> absolutely love that so you're loving the academy of color uh, so while you've still got it in your baskets get all those bits while you can uh, but while we have a little break take a look at this welcome to crafters tv with more than 35 hours of live shows each week it's your home for all things craft we shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. Come on, that was really funny, Ben. You did it was better than your I'm a no when I live in a caravan. <laughs> I'm a no when I live in a caravan. <laughs> <laughs> Can we yeah, flip that? Yeah. Everybody's gone surfing, surfing USA. Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on catch up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. You entertain us, you give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. There's a show for every type of crafter from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. Crafters TV, create every day. Here at Crafters TV, it couldn't be easier to get social with us. Whether you're watching on Facebook or YouTube, on your TV or tablet, you can get so close to the action, it's like you're in the studio with us. You can ask questions about products or crafty techniques. Get hints and tips from our expert demonstrators. Plus, share pictures of your crafty makes with our amazing community. Crafters TV, getting you closer to the crafty action. What makes Crafters TV so special is uh, you guys. It's really special because the the experts are really experts. They're they're. Um, really skilled at what they do and they want to make sure that the audience also improves on their skills. Crafters TV is so special because you've got together a really sort of key group of people um, and people that are very passionate about the product. Crafters TV is so special because it's a unique community that we have with each other where we can learn and grow and communicate with each other. Community, the family spirit, the education, everything to do with craft. We are all like-minded people who share a passion. I love all the inspiration the demonstrators bring and all the knowledge for us out here. What makes Crafters TV so special, 100% is the interaction. No other crafting TV channel or show has the same interaction. I love the community, I love chatting live, uh, I think that's the best part and uh, it's gone beyond crafting because we've become friends. It feels to me to be a really, really close relationship with our customers and viewers. You guys make us feel like we're part of your family. I've never been on the show before, but one of my friends who I did meet from CCTV encouraged me and I was on the craft along. A massive team of people and I think they've all got their role to play uh, and it just brings everything together. It allows us to do our job and just love it. Ah, the people obviously the people not just here at Crafts Companion uh, but the viewers that watch us I mean everybody we have this real magical essence about it bye for now bye Amanda with her countdown, can't she, Debbie? <laughs> she's like, that's just so assertive. She's I mean, like, we're it's having like... a nice cafe, Debbie, for age, we're having a nice catch up. 
And Charlotte's like, okay, 10, 9, 8. We're like, okay. Back okay, on screen, Debbie. <laughs> <laughs> it's like military organisation. <laughs> uh, we need to be kept in check. That's what it is, Leanne. <laughs> She's good at it. <laughs> uh, she's so lovely, really. She is. I'm pulling uh, you can your colour. You can see on there it is limited stock, which is amazing. Uh, it's our brand new one. Uh, it's the one that's uh, following on. It's actually uh, the second from last. So we've got, literally got one more coming at the end of March, which is our wax pencil one. Uh, but this is our aqua colour. It's got 30% off today, which is an incredible saving for something that's brand new. Uh, 33 dollars or 40 Four dollars ninety five. Uh, so grab that while you can. And also, let me just bring in our free gifts that we are giving away today. Uh, as you'll know, it's our sweet surprise week where we're dropping in different deals every single day just to sweeten uh, that uh, that crafty goodness for you. Uh, this is the one you're going to get if you uh, spend twenty pounds or more or twenty dollars uh, on all your orders. That will come to you for absolutely nothing at all. And if you spend a hundred pounds or more you will get both of those where you'll have the butterfly which is a three die butterfly that layers onto each other from our Sarah's signature range from the vintage butterflies um, so that's really nice that you're getting something for nothing and if you think about those goodie bags that we have in stock with those amazing savings that you can then get your free gifts as well to pop into those uh, which is great uh, right the Academy of Colour let me just give you a quick update of what you're getting in this box it will be probably it could be the last time you see it today because it is flying out the doors uh, you're getting all those duo pencils which are aquas it means that all those watercolor techniques that you uh, can do and what Leanne is teaching you will be able to do with this Academy of Color you're also getting two of those vowed uh, brushes and your pencil sharpener which is branded as well which is lovely we've also got the most amazing stamps they have a really lovely space to actually color in they're nice and big, uh, they're not overwhelming. I absolutely love those. Uh, and then the colors you're getting in this kit are all on this chart. Uh, and if you did want to download any of our charts, just head to our website with our down, there's a download a section and you can download all our charts on there for all our colors across the board. Uh, and it's really uh, great to have because it gives you the true colors then of what you want to use, especially if you are wanting to match them up to pretty papers, pattern papers, some of our amazing paper pads that we've got, you'd know what to color them with as well. And then just a quick look at one of our boards there that's been coloured in absolutely beautifully to really showcase those four stamps. Uh, now we're going to go over to Leanne and see what else you've got in store for us, Leanne. Okay, we're going to have a look at how to use the palette again, but mix some different colours on the palette because we're going to have a look at how to do the hydrangea and do the hydrangea where you've got all of those different in the same colour family but different tones hydrangeas are like that in nature aren't they where the blues and purples all come out in different intensities on the petal so we're going to have a look at how to do that and we're going to have a look at how to put that uh, diffused background in to really make your image pop so I've got my image stamped out and I've used my finesse uh, waterproof it's on the website in stock which is fantastic I've cut my little piece of watercolour out to make my uh, palette and the two colours I'm going to be using are elderberry and regal blue so I've wrote that down there elderberry and regal blue so take your pencils out of your box and then you're going to create yourself several different palettes to create the different colour now when you're doing this what you need to try and do is get your main base colour at about the same size all the way it doesn't matter if it's not high exact but about the same size all the way down so I'm taking elderberry and I'm putting about the same amount of colour several times. Now when I'm doing this uh, at home for the hydrangea, I'd be creating myself about 10 blocks of colour to do this for an image like this. I'm going to stop at five because you don't need to watch me doing that all the way down. You'll get the idea and you'll understand what you need to do when you get it home. And you can see I'm getting quite a bit of the colour down. I'm applying some pressure and we've talked about that. And when you're creating a palette, you need to apply some pressure I'm getting the colour on the watercolour card. So I would normally do about 10. I'm doing five. So you don't have to watch me interestingly colour a load of blocks. Now I'm going to take my regal blue. And then I'm going to vary to mix custom colours the amount of regal blue I apply to each of those blocks. So the first one, I'm going over the top. That's my first new colour I'm mixing. Next one, not quite as far. 
next one not quite as far next one not quite as far again next one tiny bit okay so i'm just varying how much blue i'm adding to each of those palettes um this one probably has a bit more than that so i'm going to add a little bit more elderberry down here just to make the colors different now all we're going to do at this point is use your brush and create your custom colors to create your petals so the first one i'm going to work with is the first color that i've put there so i've got my pot of water i've got my brush and then all i'm going to do is mix that together so i've created a brand new color now with elderberry and regal blue on my palette and then i'm going to add the color to my petal what's the matter only 53 are remaining. Oh my word. <laughs> I wondered what that was. I'm like, is there sorry, a vehicle reverse? I, I just, I had to, I had to interrupt. <laughs> I'm sorry, Leanne. That's absolutely fine. <laughs> wow. Wow. I love, I wish everybody could hear the little monologues that we have in our gallery. <laughs> Jenny's like, there's only 52. <laughs> La Charlotte, is that legit? <laughs> yes, Charlotte. <laughs> we had such a big stock of these, which is amazing. I think this has probably got to be the quickest selling one that we've had. They obviously love the uh, the uh, aqua colour pencils, Leanne. Um, it's a lovely, lovely technique. I can understand why. I think it is. You know, it is beautiful, and you can see how easy it is to do. So I've used that first little block, and I've added the colour down. I'm going to clean my brush now and then just um, drag that colour out across the rest of the watercolour card just to make it nice and pastel. I have to be honest, Leanne, I've mm. never seen this before. Have you not? No, I've never, ever seen this before. Well, that's good. Yeah, this really is, good. This is what we talk about, though, isn't it, Debbie, yeah. all the time, about being on a constant journey with each other, seeing what you know each of us do. Um, when we do something, seeing how it's different, picking up on that technique and deciding Honestly, that one's for I, me. I'm wowed because I've seen colouring next to a colour and dipping in both colours, but never to colour over like that yeah. and, and mix the palette. Yeah, I've never, never done that before. Okay, so then the next one, that gets mixed. And that will be a different colour again because we had more elderberry, less regal blue. So this time when we go in now, you'll see this is a lot more pinky than the first colour. And I'm just picking random places to put it. Um, I'm not following one flower at a time because a hydrangea isn't like that in life. I'm just picking up the colour and adding it down. And then blending it out. And then I do the same the next palette. So I mix the two together. And then this will be even more pinky again because there was even less blue in this one. And this is how you get the variation in the colours of all the different petals and be completely random as you apply it and then just blend it out. And by doing this, that's how you get that lovely, natural in nature variation in all of the tones on the petals. Do the same on this next one. And this will be even more pinky because it had a tiny little bit of blue in. And you see what happens is as you start to add that alongside some of the other petals you do, you can really see the difference in the tone. It's just amazing. And just drag it out. And it's that subtle variation, isn't it? Yes. It just looks beautiful. Uh, and you almost need to see it all together before... There's a very purple one, look, see. You almost need to see it all together before you start to realise those variations in tone. Now, what you can also do is um, the opposite, which is a lot of the regal blue. And I would do this too. I'll only do three. And again, similar sizes. And then vary the amount of petunia you put over the top. And mix your new colour. And because that's a blue base now, when I go in and add these, I'll get the blue colours 
coming in alongside the purpley colours and then you just go up and pick your new here we go and look what I hope you can see at home is anybody can do Wow, amazing. Sorry, Leanne. That's okay. <laughs> and then, look, I've got like a real indigo now. So now I'm just mixing palettes up and I'm dipping into both. And now I've got an indigo colour. And what this does is bring all of the different colours together into your hydrangea. Um, and you just go and dip into them all. I want to do this one and a little bit of this one. Okay. And then I've got a new colour. Look, I've got like a violet indigo colour now that I've mixed by doing that. And I can pop this in here. And what you get is that lovely, because you're using these two colours the same, it all works mm. on the flower, but you uh, magically make all of the different tones and so that gives you the light and shade and the differences where, where you need them. It's an incredibly easy thing to do and all I'm doing, see I'm really not painting this very carefully at all, I'm picking colour up with my brush and I'm whacking it down on the card. <laughs> whacking it down. For want of a better word. And I'm not really worried about where it's going because that mixing of palettes and the mixing of the colours is doing it for me. And you would just continue all the way around your floral doing exactly that and that's what you get. Oh, wow. Okay, when the floral's finished. Now, what I want to do is show you how to do that around the outside as well. Um, so that's done by using your pencils direct to the paper. So you're going to very gently, and I can't stress this enough, a whisper touch. I'm hardly touching, going to touch the paper when I put this colour down. So a whisper touch and you go around up to your flower. And I'll only do it on half. I'll just do it around the top here because that's where I've coloured. And just come out a little way, just to go all the way around, coming up to your petals. And of course, I would go around the whole flower, as I've done there. But just go around, adding a little bit of colour, varying the depth, so a little bit higher here, a little bit lower there. It doesn't really matter. Don't be worried about getting it regimented, just be very random with it. Put it into those areas and then take your ebony. And where you'd want it to be a little more shaded around the flower, add in your ebony. And so this is mixing colours directly on the card. And because no water has hit this area, I'm okay going directly with my pencil. I would not here because this is damp and that's where the pencil's going to grab the colour. So go in and add your ebony around. And then with your damp brush, you simply move that colour out. I have lots and lots of questions coming in, Leanne. Mm -hmm. Would you like me to ask? Them yeah, you're I'm happy it? to. I'm happy to answer as we go. So, um, can you ask Leanne? So, from Rosalind, she's asking what if there's a difference between the Aqua pencils in the Academia Color or the Colorista and the Colorista Aqua pencils. Okay, the pencils in Academy of Color are a little bit higher quality than Colorista. Cool. They're there not an entry-level pen pencil. Yes. They're a mid-level pencil. Yes. And the, uh, so colorists are a beginning level. These are a mid-level. Your Spectrum Noir Aqua Pencils, highest artist quality. Amazing. Um, Sarah's asking when the next Academy of Colour will be available in the UK. Um, pass. I believe it's the end of March because I know go. I do have it down at the end of March at Hobby Maker, so it will be here, I believe, probably that same week. So the end of March, I would have said. Thank you, Debbie. Um, and Sarah is saying, I do have another question for Leanne. Mm -hmm. How many alcohol reinkers is there to complete a collection? Um, uh, one one, one ink for every colour. Yeah. yeah, so 216. 16, yes, absolutely. Um, and can you use gilding wax with the, pen with the pencils? Huh. Uh, I'm not sure how you would plan on doing that, but if that is, can you watercolour an image and then gild and wax around the outside? Certainly. Yes, yeah. Um, 
Yes, they're not. You wouldn't be able to use them. Well, yeah, you just use them as you would around your image. Yes. yes. Um, Leanne, can you please bring out a refill set of the papers from the birthday box and the scent with love box? It's the <laughs> first time in my boxes that I've used all the papers and I need more. <laughs> um, we'll add them to the list. Thank you for letting us <laughs> There is us a know. big list. There's a there? huge list. There really is. Uh, and, and actually, and that's a good question from Rosalind. She's saying, Leanne, after all the Academy of Colours, um, are there any plans to uh, do any other stamp sets like that as well? So um, actually, we did believe, Sarah and I were just talking about this uh, late last week, where we, we did believe when we got to the end of Academy of Colour that I would have taught you everything you could possibly know and that you would have been given the skills you need to just go forward and have a lovely colouring journey now. However, so many of you have said, we don't want it to end, we want more. And so we're deep in strategic discussion about what that more could look like. Um, so I'm going to say, watch this space. There you go. <laughs> I love watch these spaces. And Stephanie is saying, why the brush versus the watercolour pen? Uh, oh, okay. yes. Yeah, so we've talked about that earlier. So you might have come in. So just to recap on that, Leanne. Yes. So the valve brush um, takes a little bit more practice because the water flows constantly and you need to practice not squeezing for that water to flood out. If you use the brush like I've been using, you have a little bit more control because it isn't continually flowing water. Right. You have to dip for the water and take it off. So it puts you in charge. Um, once you've mastered the art of this, then it's great. And of course, they're fantastic for portability because whenever you're colouring on the go, you take your brush and your water with you in that valve. You don't have to have a water pot. So it's great for colouring on the go. If if you're at home in colouring, I would advocate you use your brush from the first box. Uh, amazing. Thank you for that, Leanne. Uh, right, we do have a sellout. So um, this one is completely gone. Uh, I knew you would have to be quick, but it is our cute characters. Uh, that has gone, unfortunately. Uh, that was our box number four. So, um, yeah, that one has gone. Um, so apologies about that. But our brand new box today is very, very limited stock. Uh, so you need to be quick to get that one in now do you want to go back to the beginning uh, the whole original um, essence of the Academy color comes from this very first box which is amazing uh, now it is our biggest box it has the most amazing uh, aqua pens and uh, alcohol pens in there these are dual colors as well like you can see they you've got so many colors in here uh, it comes with a plethora of stamps and papers and binders and everything you need uh, to start your coloring journey so it's absolutely incredible you've got 35 percent off on this uh, which is absolutely amazing 96 pound today there you, oh you can see me look at that you can see this is how it's coming to you you're getting that felt that binder you're getting the folder you're getting everything you need to start your journey that uh, code is in your academy of color you can go on and watch leanne you can go back and watch all these academy of colors so you'll be able to follow along with leanne like we're seeing here uh, i love this look at that the, the journey continues your coloring journey continues i absolutely love that very sad for the last box because it will have that different message as leanne has already told us to, that it's going to have uh, because it will be that final one um, but the good thing is the Academy of Colour Facebook group will continue it will be on there forever and ever and ever um, uh, as far as Facebook's on there anyway um, and you will be able to always get that inspiration meet new crafty friends it's just going to be a journey that is going to give forever and ever and if ever you just want to recap on some of the things that Leanne has taught you you can just go back and watch those and take Take them then into your colouring journey. Even, I would say, if you are an expert colourist, I would go for this still, Leanne, because I think all that's going to do is enhance on what you already know with your colouring. Um, and you're going to be doing things like this, being able to do different skin tones, do different hair tones, not in just alcohol colouring, but also in your water colouring as well. That's watercoloured cardstock. Uh, you're going to be learning how to create your light source, doing all that shading, using your grey pen. And again, in alcohol colouring and in your 
beautiful watercolour, which is incredible. You do get all those colours in here, which is amazing. Beautiful watercolours. You've got the most amazing set of alcohol colouring. This is your first set. Remember, this is a journey that you're going to continue uh, if you go for this first box. Or you might have picked up some of the other boxes in between uh, and not gone for that first one. Now, this original box comes with a binder, so you can then store all your stamp sets in there. It's got little pouches where you'll be able to store all your makes and your uh, colouring where you've uh, uh, created. I love these. I think just these simple images, learning all those techniques of where your light source comes from um, is absolutely amazing. And then I've got some boards here that show the watercolour inside as well. Uh, being able to create that sort of ombre effect, create that light and dark shading, uh, they're absolutely amazing. I can guarantee if you haven't started this journey and you're starting it today, no matter what box you have bought, you will absolutely love it. And our Leanne is the one that's going to take you through every step of the way uh, on that colouring journey more than anything else. But we do have an amazing cartload show tonight at six o'clock. Uh, it's going to be fast and furious. Um, and our Leanne's going to show you some of the uh, £10 deals that we've got for our Platinum uh, members here. Absolutely, and I'm th I mean, great deals. I've got a whole pile of stuff here for you. Um, and these are exclusive to Platinum members, I believe. If you're Platinum, you get them for... Oh, so you can get them if you're not Platinum, but if you're a Platinum member, these are a tenner. £10, $10. This make and send pad has been a revolution. And what you're absolutely adoring, I have to say, because on each of these sheets, what you get is everything to make a card, decorate it, put an insert in it, make an envelope and have some pretty borders. So you get everything you need to make and send these beautiful cards. And the cards match perfectly to the envelope, the insert and the borders. So if I take two sheets and just take you through these two sheets, here is a sheet here. There is your half full tent card. Here are all of the decorative die cut pieces for you to pop out and decorate that card. On the sheet behind, you've got the perfectly sized envelope to cut out and fold to put your card in. You've got your insert and you've got some ribbon strips. But can I just show you that this is double sided? as is this, you can see you've got a pattern on the back here. So actually your envelope is patterned on the outside and patterned on the inside. They're all double sided. So absolutely beautiful designs in here. You get 32 sheets, 32 pieces, which means you make um, your 18 cards and 18 envelopes. So that's your make and send pad. They're all of the decorative pieces that you've got on there and you've got your 32 pieces. They're fantastic having everything you need for £10, $10. Make your card, make your envelope, put your insert in, decorate it and send it. I can't believe we're doing these for a tenner. <laughs> I've had to take my glasses off, I'm that incensed. <laughs> um, our luxury gilding flakes for £10 or $10. That's like crazy news. Um, and it's in that beautiful, beautiful colour set of carnival with the purples and the pinks and the blues in there. Absolutely exquisite. If you haven't tried our luxury gilding flakes, don't judge them by any other gilding flake in the market because I don't know of another company who does gilding flakes like these. These are the premium luxury gilding flake and you get that real vibrant metallic shine from them. Art liners. I love these for doodling. Um, again, £10, $10. Art liners are great for journaling. They're great for doing your Zen tangle type um, or your sand tangle as we have it here. They're great for just writing inside of a card. If you like to do the little four mats and layers and the little scribbles around the outside of a card, brilliant for that. If you're my husband, he just likes to write in his notebook with them and he steals mine and uses them <laughs> as his writing pen of choice Notify because them. they are really, really good. Uh, the other thing is if you like to draw yourself, these are a water-based marker so you can draw and then colour with your alcohol markers and the line won't move. So they're great for artists too. That's art liner, £10, $10. Then I can't believe jigsaw dye. We've got our jigsaw die here, which is the 5 by 7 one, so you can create those fabulous um, jigsaw pieces. So you get 24 
pieces of the jigsaw which you can then assemble in whatever way you like and it'll cut through lots and lots of different materials five by seven in size incredible that it's ten pound or ten dollars this one's uk only and this is the cutting plate 12 by 12 for your gemini pro um, and so if you've got a gemini pro and you're in the market for a new cutting plate this is your 12 by 12 one and this deal is for the uk only if you're a platinum member now i can't believe we're doing a craft kit for a tenner so a craft kit ten pounds ten dollars and this is the fabulous reveal wheel one one of the most popular actually so it's where you can uh, die cut the little aperture and then with a wheel turn around and change the sentiment that appears in the wheel and then decorate it up and of course craft kits you know this one's got over 200 elements in are absolutely cram packed look at all of the beautiful papers in there cram packed full of goodies papers card ribbons dies stamps the lot all in that box uh, 10 pounds or 10 dollars as a platinum member wow 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 how amazing are those deals remember there's loads more in cart loads which is incredible uh barbara is saying leanne you are so so intelligent in crafting unbelievable how nice is that comment uh, Rhonda is saying um i've got some suggestions uh the AOC, o aos the academy of sewing oh mm. nice or i'm sure becky would be on board or knitting. for that Mm, mm. absolutely uh, Leanne which ink pad would you use to stamp onto faux leather uh, and colour with alcohol pens please mm. that's a fantastic question mm. I need to try I don't need I have never done it so I feel not comfortable telling you to use one just in case it doesn't work uh, I'm not sure your alcohol marker is going to work on top of faux leather. Mm -hmm. That's my main conundrum. Yep. Because it's an alcohol, it's a solvent, and a faux leather is a man-made substance. I have a concern that the alcohol in your pen would melt that man-made substance, and it would take the surface off your faux leather and therefore block the nib of your alcohol marker. So I'm going to say I wouldn't recommend you do that. Yes. And that's great. So I love that. If we can't give the right answer because we don't know, uh, we can only recommend. Um, so love that. Um, Sarah is saying Spectrum Noir Gilding Flakes are the best Gilding Flakes she has ever used. Uh, that goes in what Leanne was just saying. Um, and Sarah is saying that I would love Leanne to do an acrylic paint class. Ooh. Hey, I'd love to do that myself. Yes. Um, well, Sarah and I in deep, deep, deep strategic discussions so <laughs> you never know uh, what could be coming in the future oh that's great to know and Jean's saying that she loves the tenor um uh the tenor it says yes. hang on, i love these tenors you are doing yes the tenors. Um, yeah and Anne is saying um oh will there be a will will, will there be flash sales on cartload Perhaps Johnny can. All the deals are on there now. They're all live, so you can shop ahead, which is amazing. Uh, now, remember, we've got free gifts today. Uh, oh, wow. They're not going to. So they're going to be gone today. Debbie, so can I show you, you what to do with your pencil sharpenings quick? Because I oh, promised yes, everybody I would. It, and I know we've only it, got yes. a few minutes, Johnny. But I think that those people who, who need to see seem fun but firm, Johnny saying. Because I'm like, I'm taking over. <laughs> I need to show everyone. So spritz your card. I'm going to do it quick. Spritz your card. I mean, if we go over, we go over, guys. Uh, take your pencil pieces. You know you love the confetti technique, Debbie. Yes. So I've spritzed my card. I've tipped my pencil sharpenings on there. Take off your pieces of wood. You can use tweezers if you don't want to use your fingers. What you're left behind with is your little pieces of pigment and then all you're going to do i'm not going to take all the wood off you would give that a knock so they've moved around spritz it again and the pigment all moves and blends together it's just a cool and then you so can cool. um heat set it and when you do that this is what you get confetti background mm. so keep all of your pieces let them melt you see up at the back here that's moved you can do it with a craft knife and then heat it with a heat gun and you get your beautiful confetti backgrounds i cover that in the education but i just wanted to show you very quickly you're not wasting 
all of your pencil sharpness. Oh, I Sorry, absolutely Johnny. love that. And actually, I mean, I love the confetti die. I just leave all mine on, spritz it, let it dry, and then you can just dust it all the yes. extra pieces off. Uh, but it is such a great technique. Uh, Leanne, thank you so much. I've learned so much uh, this last couple of hours. Um, but we have another show tonight, uh, a big cartload, which is going to be amazing, isn't it? So uh, uh, we will see you back then. So thank you very much. Thank you. Um, but remember, we get those all those offers, shop all the day uh, and see what you can get. And also our cart loads, our cart loads are live. Uh, so please shop for what you want. I wouldn't like you to be disappointed because those deals are going. We've already had a sellout in this show. Uh, so it's going to be incredible. Um, so I'm just going to show you the actual gifts that you're getting. Uh, £20 or $20 spend. And you will get this free card making kit. So I absolutely love that. And if you spend a hundred pounds or more you will get both these free gifts so really cool little ones there uh, to pop in uh, well you don't even have to pop in the basket we're going to do that for you which will be amazing uh, so please uh, join us back for uh, cartload tonight uh, we're going to take a break now and uh, go and grab something to eat have a little natter and a catch up uh, and we will see you back here at 6 p.m bye